Hey there, my name is Latrina. Earlier today, you spoke with my son, Christopher, who um, explained that we've been reaching out to small businesses to provide some free information with tips and tricks on how to improve your online presence. Hopefully, he explained that we're not selling anything in these videos. We believe givers gain, so we make these custom videos with the hope of bringing value and service to our community. But your feedback would be important to us so that we make sure that we're covering information that would actually be helpful to you all. So at the end of this video, if you can please give us a, a one-liner or two, just let us know what you thought about the video, if it was helpful or not, that would be greatly appreciated. So in your short video, what I'm going to do is cover content, backlinks, and citations. We'll take a look at your online presence and make any recommendations for improvement that we might notice. Content is anything on your website, such as words, images, and videos. It's important to have sufficient content so that you can get the relevant keywords on your website. Google likes to have websites that are at least 1,500 words on the home page and at least 500 on the back pages. This allows their their bots to be able to search your, your website and grab all of those keywords so that they can put them front and center um, in front of customers who are actually looking for your services. Then there are citations, and these are just listings and directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. Um, it includes your business name, your address, and your phone number. I do have an example here on the screen for you. But you want to have as many of these throughout the internet as you can, and even more than your competition. And then we have what are called backlinks, and these are simply your placement of your website address on other websites. For example, if you have a Facebook page, if you're on Yelp or Yellow Pages and LinkedIn, these are all examples of backlinks, and they help to direct traffic to your website. But not all backlinks are created equal, so it's important to make sure they're relevant to your line of work. But Google places high emphasis on how many backlinks a website has, so the more the better. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website is actually perceived to be. So when we go to Google, um, what you'll see is when you do a search with organic keywords, and organic keywords are words that people are actually typing in naturally to find their services. So in this example, since you're a painting contractor, I typed in painting contractors, Frederick, Maryland. And immediately what Google does most cases, is show you ads that have been paid for by companies. Now, I don't discourage ads necessarily. If used properly, they can be great um, strategically. However, a lot of people do have ad blockers on their computers. So if they do have ad blockers, they will not see those ads. The actual prime real estate in Google is what we call the map pack this area here. And this is where Google places who they perceive to be the experts in the field of painting contractors. So we see Fresh Coat Painters of Frederick, Will High Painting Inc., and Avalar Painting Solutions. 30 to 40 percent of clicking takes place here because you know we're an impatient society. We want fast results, fast answers. So most people come here, they see either these ads at the top or this map pack, and they make a selection. Then what Google does is continues to rank businesses in order of preference, um, in order of ranking. So um, ideally, you'd want to be in that map pack, but at least on the first or second page of Google. Again, people are impatient. They're not wandering off into the fifth and sixth, tenth page or whatever. They are likely to make a selection on the first couple of pages in Google. So let's take a look at some of the competitors that you have there in that map pack, okay? So the first one was Fresh Coat. Now you'll see they have a really well-organized website, very vivid, very clear um, images throughout. Um, the one thing that I notice, however, is that they are lacking content on this front page. It's not a bad website. Um, it does grab your attention, um, but that would be the first thing that I would recommend to them. Um, I didn't find a website for you, um, so what I would say is if you do get a website or when you get a website, you would want to have a very well-organized website. I would also make sure to have these call-out features. Ideally, you'd have a contact us um, form on your page so that people can get in touch with you immediately or make a phone call like this. But 
you can outdo this competitor right here simply by adding more content to your website. That by far will make the greatest impact on your website because you'd be able to embed all of the keywords that describe all of the services you have. If we take a look at one of the other competitors, you'll see in contrast, this competitor does not have very much on their website at all. It looks a bit outdated and you can see they are lacking, lacking, lacking in content. You might be saying, well, what's the difference? They're actually both in the map pack. Well, let's take a look at the difference. So the first one, Fresh Coat, you'll see they're getting about 800, 874, 860s, 880s. That's how many clicks they're actually generating from their Google um, website from Google actually. These are based off of Google Analytics. These are how many visitors they are actually generating. If you contrast that or compare it to the other Willie Hyde, what is it? Will Hyde painting, you'll see Will Hyde is getting zero. And you want to know the reason for that? It's because they don't have sufficient content. They don't have the keywords that people are actually typing in to find them. So the takeaway from this would be um, on your website, make sure you have sufficient content, 1,500 words on your home page or more, 500 on your back pages, and you want to embed all of the keywords that people are looking for to find your services. If we look at, oops, sorry, it logged me out. That is a bummer. Let me see if I can, technical issues here. See if I can do anything. Okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Sometimes we have glitches. Um, but you'll see Fresh Coat is primarily using their name um, as the keywords. What you would want to do, however, is use the keywords that people are typing. For example, um, contract paint contractors in Frederick, Maryland. Exterior painting in Frederick, Maryland. Exterior residential painting in Frederick, Maryland. Things that people are actually typing in to find your services. And what you'll see is if you did that with your website, this gap here gives you so much room to grab those, um, grab the attention of those people who are actually visiting um, Fresh Coats website. Um, by far, you would have more than wilt. Um, I, I can't get their name right. Will height painting um, because they're not getting any traffic right now. Okay. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I could not find your website. So if you do have a website and you'd like for me to take a look at how your actual website is doing, please reach out, reply and let me know. Give me the URL or the, the website address so that I can take a look and give you more specific details about your online presence. Um, I did find that you were, I think, on some um, paid advertising sites. Again, um, having a website can save you some money and you can probably get more um, organic traffic by having an actual website versus paying the money to advertise um, in a you know, month to month. Um, so that's the feedback I have for you. Hopefully it's been helpful. Hopefully I didn't rattle too long, rump, ramble on too long. Um, but shoot me um, a quick liner. Let me know if it was helpful or not. And I wish you much success in your business. Take care. Bye-bye.